Hi guys, today in this video, we are going to be exploring Otter's animations module. And for our demonstration today, we are going to be using this website that we built previously using Neve and Otter. And we only spent $33 on a hosting plan, which came with a free domain and free SSL certificate. So if you'd like to learn how to build your own, you can check out the link in the description. All right, so let's begin. We are on our homepage and the first thing we need to do is click on the edit page link. And that will take us to the WordPress editor. And from here, we can decide what we would like to animate. So Otter has three types of animations which can be applied to any block on this page. So I'll go ahead and click on the list view icon just to see the full structure of the page. And we'll start with the first section block. And we also want to remember that this section block is also a parent of different child blocks. And these can also be animated. So we just want to make sure that we are selecting the correct one. So I'll make sure the section block is selected and I'll move over to the right hand side. Here we have our block settings and I'll click on the animations tab at the bottom. And right now we can see three different types of animations. So first we have loading animations which play when the page loads as long as the element is in the viewport. And then we have count animations which animate numbers in a counting sequence. And finally we have typing animations that animate text. And it basically looks like someone is typing something. All right, so let's apply a loading animation. I'll click on the settings icon. And now we can go ahead and access this drop down menu. So here we have a list of many different animations to choose from. So you can just go through this list and find one that you like. And they're also categorized based on their type. So that was a back in animation. We can always select a different one. If we go to fading animations, for example, we can choose fade in. And most animations have different directions as well. So let's choose a zoom in animation for our example. So that's fine. And now we can configure the delay. And this is basically how long the animation has to wait before it plays. So let's access this menu to select an option. And the base unit for animations is seconds. So we can select two seconds and replay the animation. So you see that it takes two seconds before the animation starts playing. Okay, so that was just an example. I'll change this back to none. Now we can configure the speed. And this is basically how fast the animation plays. So let's see what happens if we select slower. Let's replay the animation. So now we can see that this takes quite a while to come in. Let's try faster. And once we replay the animation, we'll see that this is a lot quicker. Okay, so for our example, I'll just keep this setting as default and we can replay the animation to see how it looks. Okay, so that's fine. I'll close this and we'll go ahead and animate a different block. So let's work with the advanced heading. Now let's go to the block settings on the right hand side. We'll just need to scroll down and we'll go ahead and apply a loading animation to this one as well. This one can also be zoom in. So I'll just find it in the menu. It should be right here. Okay, here it is. Okay, now we need to make this zoom in after the section block loads. So let's apply a 200 millisecond delay. Let's replay it. Okay, that looks good. So now I'll just go ahead and apply the same animation to the paragraph. So now we'll make the delay for this one at least twice as long as the previous one. So that'll be 500 milliseconds. Okay, and we can keep the speed as default. So let's move on. So let's select the button. And this time we can try something different. So let's try bounce. Okay, this one is not bad, but let's try a different one. Let's try bounce in. Okay, so that's fine. Now let's add a delay. We'll make this one one second. So that means that it will be the last animation to play. Let's see what all of this looks like. So we'll preview in a new tab. Okay, so that's a really cool animation sequence as our blocks come in at different times. So we are good with this section. Let's move on to the next section where we can take a look at typing animations. All right, so I'll just scroll down and we can apply one to this image as well. We can make this one fade in. So let's access the block settings and we'll click on animations. And we just want to find the fade in category in this menu. So it's right here. Let's use fade in right. That's good. And we'll also set a delay of about 200 milliseconds. All right, now we are going to add an animation to a column. I'll just go ahead and select that in the editor. We can also view the list on the left to make sure it's selected. And now we can go ahead and apply the animation to this one. Let's use the opposite of fade in right, which is fade in left. All right, so that's fine. And remember, you can always tweak this however you want. You can set a different one for each of these blocks, but I'll just leave it on the entire column. Now we can take a look at typing animations. And we are going to use this heading that says yoga is our way of life for this example. And this one is a second advanced heading. So let's go ahead and highlight the entire heading. Okay. Now on the toolbar at the top, I'll click on the down arrow, then typing animation. All right. So from there, we can move back to the block settings. 
Then we'll go to the animations tab to set up the typing animation. So here we only have two settings, we have delay and speed. So I'll choose a delay of about 500 milliseconds for this one. And for your example, you can change the speed if you want to, but I'll keep this as default. Okay, now let's preview our changes in a new tab. So here's the hero. And once we scroll, we'll see the about section with the typing animation. All right, so finally we can go ahead and animate numbers. We have this section here with four different numbers and we can apply count animations to them. And note that you can only apply count animations to numbers. So this will not work. You see it's grayed out. So that means we need to select the number on its own. So if we try again, we'll see that it's available. And now we can click on this link to turn it on. And let's go to the block settings on the right. Let's click on animations and we'll turn on count animations. And for this one, we can make the delay 200 milliseconds. And we can keep the speed for this one as default. So I'll just go ahead and apply these settings to all of the other numbers. And here's the final product. So they animate in a way where all of them start and end at the same time. So the final thing I want to touch on is how two sections with animations behave when they are both in the viewport. So I'll go back to the WordPress editor and I'll scroll all the way up to the hero section. And we can see that this is fit to screen, which means that all of its blocks will be in the viewport and only animations for blocks in the viewport will play. So let's see what happens when I decrease the height of this hero section. Let's go back to the preview. And once the page loads, you'll notice that both the about and hero section animate at the same time. And that's only because both of them are in the viewport at the same time. So that's something you should always keep in mind when setting up your animations. In my case, I think it's better to change the height of the hero back to fit to screen. Okay, so this is how you set up animations in Otter. And I hope you found this video helpful. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.